Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to animate the four stages of the butterfly life cycle using an animation program that is free called Piscolab. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to www.piscolab.com. Once you're there, you're going to go over here and you're going to click on the yellow login. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for your Google account. So if you've already logged in somewhere with your Google account today, you get to just pick your Google account. You might have more than one. Once you're there, you'll be in your gallery section of my Pisco app. So yours probably will not have a picture here and you won't have any Piscals yet because you haven't made any. To get started on your butterfly life cycle, you're going to click on Create Piscal right here. Once you click there, you'll be in the animation pane. All animations are made up of a series of pictures. We call this series of pictures frames. You're already on frame one when you start a new Piscal, and you can see that right here. It's labeled number one. Underneath it, you can click on the plus sign to add a new frame. So the first thing you would want to do is you would want to go ahead and create the first stage of the butterfly life cycle, which is the egg. So go ahead and draw the egg now. Here's the egg I illustrated. Now, there are lots of ways to draw butterfly eggs, and we saw that butterfly eggs can look all sorts of different ways. So you get to make your own artistic choice here. Once you're done, you need to start on the next frame, which will be the next stage in the butterfly life cycle. You have two options to do this. The first option is you can click the plus sign that says add new frame, and you can start over from scratch. Hmm. If you don't like a frame, you can click on the garbage can. The other way, which might be easier to you, is if you hover over the frame, you see a little button right here called duplicate this frame. If you click on this, it copies the frame. Now I can just edit this, and I could do that very simply by getting my eyedropper tool, copying the green color, and then drawing over the part of the egg I don't want, getting my paint bucket tool, and filling in the parts that I don't need. Now I'm ready to draw the second stage in the butterfly life cycle, and that would be the caterpillar. You might notice that over here, my animation is already working. FPS stands for frames per second, and I can speed it up, or I can slow it down. So, go ahead and start the second stage of the butterfly life cycle. Here I've completed the second stage of the butterfly life cycle, which is the caterpillar or the larva stage. You can see that my caterpillar isn't the best caterpillar in the world. In fact, I bet you can make an even better caterpillar. And if you remember from our slideshow, butterfly caterpillars work all sorts of different ways. So again, you can either copy one of the caterpillars that we studied in Clara Caterpillar or Where Butterflies Grow, or you could design your own caterpillar. Again, you can see my caterpillar here. So now that I'm done with the second stage, I need to start on the third stage, which is the chrysalis stage, right? Or the larva stage, excuse me, the pupa stage. Whew, getting confused, I apologize. So we're gonna start on the third stage, which is the chrysalis stage. So what we would do is you can either copy this frame or you can add a new one. For this one, I like to start from scratch, but it's your choice. So you could go ahead and make the third stage of the butterfly life cycle, the chrysalis stage, now. Here is my third stage of the butterfly life cycle, the chrysalis stage, all completed. You can see over here that it's already animating itself, and I can speed it up. That might be too fast for me to see it, or I can slow it down. Now you're ready for the very final stage which is the adult stage, the fourth stage, which is the final butterfly stage. Again, I would start from scratch by clicking on add new frame. I would start with my background color. If it's not saved here and it's not, all I have to do is go to the frame before, click on the color picker tool, click, and it will automatically pick my background color for me and fill. Now, I'm going to get my black to draw my butterfly outline. Piscolap has an amazing tool. It's called the symmetry tool. Symmetry is when one side 
is the same as the other, and butterflies are symmetrical. If I click right here in the top right hand tool corner where it says vertical mirror pin, that is my symmetry pin. If I click here, you'll see it makes this weird little icon. Watch this. I can draw a butterfly head and the rest of a butterfly body. And then I can draw butterfly wings. And I can make butterfly antenna. I can even continue to color it with the, um, excuse me, symmetry tool. So go ahead and use the vertical mirror pen and draw the fourth stage of the butterfly life cycle, the adult butterfly. Okay, here's my finished butterfly. Can you guess which butterfly I made? Yeah, I decided to use the black swallowtail butterfly from Where Butterflies Grow because I was very inspired by it and because it's my mother's favorite butterfly. So now I'm all done and I might want to know how do I save? Well, the first thing is you want to save it to your gallery. So the way you do that is you go right here where this little disc is. That's what discs used to look back way back in olden days. You're going to click on that and you're going to choose Save to Gallery. Pac-Man appears at the top and you're good to go. But how are you going to turn this into your teacher? That gets a little bit trickier, but still not hard. What you'll do is you'll go down here to where there's a picture of a mountain with a circle and that's the export button. So you'll click on that. You want to make sure that these numbers are at least 800. In this case, you can see that they're 864. That's pretty big. And you're not going to click on download. It's kind of tricky. You're going to click on the second yellow button that says upload. You'll click there, wait, and a yellow link appears. Do you see that? I can click on that. And there is what my finished animation of the four stages of the butterfly life cycle looks. Now I'm ready to save it. And all I do is I go right on top of my animation, I right click on my mouse, I choose Save As, I'm going to give it a name, usually I like to do my first name, last initial, and then I might write Butterfly. You're going to click, or you have to choose a folder where your teacher wants you to save it, or your teacher might help you with this part, and then you're going to click Save. Wait, and your butterfly animation is now saved. Congratulations, that's all there is to making an animated version of the life cycle of a butterfly. Thanks so much.